Hello, um, we're all teachers and uh, TAs at the British Council in Ho Chi Minh City and um, tomorrow on Thursday is World Book Day so we'd like to tell you about our favourite books um, some of them are books we teach in class and some of them are from our YL library so first of all I'd like to introduce Louise she's going to tell you about her favourite book Okay, um, my favourite book is called The Gruffalo it's by Julia Donaldson it's a book that we teach with primary one students here in the school um, and the reason I like it is because it's about this mouse here. He's very clever and very cheeky and he manages to defend himself against a snake, an owl, a fox and even a gruffalo. I wonder if you've ever seen a gruffalo before. I don't know, have you seen a gruffalo? No. <laughs> I'm sure it's a But you'll be on the lookout. Yeah, 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 yes. so I read that book. Now okay. it's brilliant because um, as you can see the illustrations inside are really beautifully done. Um, Axel Scheifler, the illustrator, he's quite famous and works a lot with Julia Donaldson. But I also like it because there's lots of rhyming words so it's really good for our learners to improve their English. Mm. Do you like rhyming books, Hun? Yes, I do. All right, thank you. And next we're going to um, talk to Paul. He's one of our mm. teachers here. He could tell us about your favourite book. Well, it's not this book, but it's his book. <laughs> See, I know what we could find. By, by the same author, Roald Dahl, uh, with the same illustrator, uh, Quentin Blake. He also did a wonderful book called The Revolting Rhymes, um. which takes all the uh, quite a few of the traditional stories, like Little Red Riding Hood, The Three Little Pigs. But what he does with them is, number one, he... Uh, makes them uh, again into rhyming poems, which are very good, like, lovely rhymes, lovely rhythm throughout all of them. But also, there's all, he changes them so there's a funny twist. So it's good once you've learned the original stories, and then there's a little funny twist, a little mm. funny ending generally. Mm. So like, um, I like the one where Little Red Riding Hood, um, the wolf, uh, is con she confronts a wolf and she famously whips a pistol from her own knickers <laughs> and shoots him. Oh, yeah, fantastic. sorry to ruin the ending of that one, but that's a favourite of mine. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you, Paul. And uh, moving over to you, Hung, she's going to tell us about a Vietnamese book, right? Uh, yes, my favourite book when I was a child was um, a story about the uh, Asian Vietnam, the legend of Asian Vietnam, and it's about um, the marriage between a prince of the coasts and princess of the uh, highlands, mm. and they got married, and then they, the princess gave birth to um, a bunch of eggs. And that's, that's what really amazed me. Oh, so yeah. is it a myth? Yeah, what do the yeah, eggs signify? It's a myth. It actually, it's a legend. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do the eggs, do they mean anything? Do they have to uh, No, they don't eat anything. And it's hatched into um, 100 children. Oh, um, okay. So <laughs> in the end, um, the parents decide to um, separate 50, 50 children to, um, go, to the, go, go to the coast to meet their father. And 50 uh, children go to the Highlands with the mother because they oh. grow homesick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. I've never read that. And Emily, what about your book? Um, yeah, this is one of our books from the YL Library. As you can see, it's called The Rabbits. It's by um, an Australian author. And um, although the story is quite short, it has quite a lot of meaning. And I think it's, just for me, it's just really, really beautiful illustrations. Um, I think that it's just great, looks amazing. Um, it's a little bit dark, it's not very jolly, but I know that some of our students really like that kind of thing. So if you haven't borrowed this one, you can check it out in the YL Library. Um, we also have lots of new books in the YL Library, so if you fancy some reading something new for World Book Day, yep. um, remember to come to our library and take one out this week. Come during your class time, the teachers can tell you more. Thank you very much, and goodbye from us. Bye-bye.